Are you tired of living on the edge, constantly worrying about unexpected expenses derailing your financial stability? Well, it's time to take control and plan the perfect building emergency funds. In today's video, we're going to reveal the secrets to creating a rock-solid financial safety net that will shield you from any storm that comes your way. Get ready to breathe easy and enjoy true peace of mind. Stay tuned, because we're about to change the game for good, right here on Investbuyer. Hey there, fellow Investbuyers! It's time to take control of your financial future by preparing for the unexpected. We all know that life can be full of surprises, and not all of them are pleasant. Whether it's a sudden job loss, an unforeseen medical emergency, or unexpected home repairs, these financial curveballs can throw us off balance and leave us scrambling to make ends meet. That's where building emergency funds comes in. An emergency fund is like a financial safety net, providing you with a cushion to fall back on when life throws you a curveball. It's a pool of money set aside specifically for unforeseen expenses and financial emergencies. Having a well-planned emergency fund can bring you peace of mind and financial security, knowing that you have a solid plan in place to handle whatever challenges may come your way. In this fast-paced world we live in, it's easy to get caught up in the present and overlook the importance of preparing for the future. But taking the time to establish and nurture your emergency fund is an essential step toward achieving financial stability. It's not just about saving for a rainy day. It's about ensuring that you have the resources to weather any storm and come out stronger on the other side. So, in this video, we're going to dive deep into the world of emergency funds and guide you through the process of planning the perfect building emergency funds. We'll provide you with practical tips, strategies, and insights to help you build a robust emergency fund that fits your unique circumstances and goals. But first things first, determining your emergency fund goal. Everyone's financial situation is different, so there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. We'll walk you through the process of evaluating your current financial situation, including your monthly expenses, debt obligations, and income stability. By understanding your financial landscape, you can set a realistic emergency fund goal that aligns with your specific needs. Next, we'll explore smart saving strategies to help you reach your emergency fund goal efficiently. Saving money consistently can be a challenge, especially when faced with competing financial priorities. That's why we'll share practical tips and techniques to help you save more effectively. From automating your savings to cutting unnecessary expenses and even exploring side hustles, we'll provide you with actionable steps to optimize your saving potential. But building an emergency fund isn't just about stashing away money in a savings account. We'll also discuss strategies to maximize the growth of your emergency fund while keeping it easily accessible when needed. We'll delve into options such as high-yield savings accounts, money market funds, and short-term investments that can help your emergency fund grow over time, making it a powerful safety net for your financial well-being. Remember, building an emergency fund is an ongoing process. It's not something you set and forget. Life circumstances change, and your financial needs may evolve over time. That's why we'll also touch on how to reassess and adjust your emergency fund as needed, ensuring that it remains a reliable resource throughout your financial journey. When it comes to building an emergency fund, the first step is to determine your goal. This will provide you with a clear target to work towards and help you stay focused on your financial objectives. While there isn't a one-size-fits-all approach, there are several factors to consider when setting your emergency fund goal. Evaluate your current financial situation. Take a close look at your income, expenses, and debt obligations. Understanding your financial landscape will help you determine how much you need to set aside for emergencies. Calculate your monthly expenses, including rent or mortgage payments, utilities, groceries, transportation costs, and any other necessary expenses. Consider your debt obligations, such as loan repayments or credit card bills. 
This assessment will give you a baseline understanding of your financial needs. Assess income stability. Consider the stability of your income. Are you in a secure job with a steady paycheck, or are you self-employed or in a freelance position with fluctuating income? The more stable your income, the less you may need to allocate to your emergency fund. However, if your income is unpredictable, it's wise to set aside a larger emergency fund to safeguard against potential income disruptions. Calculate living expenses. Now that you have a clear picture of your monthly expenses, multiply that amount by the number of months you want your emergency fund to cover. Financial experts often recommend aiming for three to six months worth of living expenses. However, depending on your circumstances and risk tolerance, you might want to adjust that number accordingly. For example, individuals with dependents or those in more volatile job markets might lean towards a larger emergency fund. Now that you have determined your emergency fund goal, it's time to explore smart saving strategies that will help you reach that target efficiently. Building an emergency fund requires discipline and commitment, but with the right approach, you can make significant progress towards your financial security. Here are some practical tips to optimize your saving potential. Automate your savings. One of the most effective ways to save consistently is by automating your savings. Set up an automatic transfer from your checking account to a separate savings account dedicated to your emergency fund. This way, a portion of your income will be automatically saved without any effort on your part. Treat your emergency fund contribution as a non-negotiable monthly expense, just like paying bills, and watch your savings grow over time. Create a budget and cut unnecessary expenses. Take a close look at your monthly expenses and identify areas where you can cut back. Create a budget that aligns with your financial goals and prioritize saving for your emergency fund. Track your expenses and eliminate unnecessary spending. Consider reducing discretionary expenses such as eating out, entertainment, or subscriptions that you don't fully utilize. Redirect those savings towards your emergency fund. Increase your income. If you find it challenging to save enough from your current income, consider exploring additional sources of income. Look for side gigs or freelance opportunities that can generate extra cash. Monetize your skills or hobbies by offering services or products. The additional income can be directly allocated towards your emergency fund, accelerating your progress and helping you reach your goal faster. Save windfalls and bonuses. Whenever you receive unexpected windfalls such as tax refunds, work bonuses, or monetary gifts, resist the temptation to splurge. Instead, funnel those funds directly into your emergency fund. It's an excellent opportunity to make a significant contribution and boost your savings without affecting your regular income. Negotiate bills and expenses. Don't hesitate to negotiate bills and expenses to lower your monthly obligations. Contact your service providers, such as internet or insurance companies, and inquire about potential discounts or better deals. Review your insurance policies and compare rates to ensure you're getting the best value for your money. These small adjustments can free up extra funds that can be redirected towards your emergency fund. Make it a family effort. Involving your family members in the saving process can be both educational and motivating. Encourage everyone in the household to contribute to the emergency fund by setting saving goals together. Teach children the value of saving and involve them in age-appropriate ways, such as allocating a portion of their allowance or earnings towards the family's emergency fund. By making it a collective effort, you not only strengthen your financial security but also foster a sense of responsibility and teamwork. Congratulations! By following these steps, you've laid the foundation for a solid emergency fund that can provide peace of mind and financial security. Remember, building an emergency fund is an ongoing process, so stay committed to your saving goals and regularly reassess your needs. Stay tuned to Investpire for more insightful videos on personal finance and investment strategies. Before we wrap up, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, 
and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Share this video with anyone you think could benefit from building their emergency fund, and let us know in the comments section below if you have any questions or additional tips to share. Remember, investing in your financial future starts with planning for emergencies. Until next time, happy investing, investors. Are you tired of living on the edge, constantly worrying about unexpected expenses derailing your financial stability? Well, it's time to take control and plan the perfect building emergency funds. In today's video, we're going to reveal the secrets to creating a rock-solid financial safety net that will shield you from any storm that comes your way. Get ready to breathe easy and enjoy true peace of mind. Stay tuned, because we're about to change the game for good, right here on Investpire.